right guys so today we're going to do the install little video of how to install this TPMS tire monitoring system for your trailer I've been wanting to put one on the trailer for a while just like so monitor my tire pressures the heat so what you get when you first open the box with your little instructions is how you install the dust shield this is the manual on how to change the batteries then you get your install menu. So this is solar powered, so you can put it on your dash. You don't have to plug it in as long as you got sunlight, you, it'll charge. Then you get four sensors, they're all marked. If you look at them closely, they're all marked. Left front, left rear, right front, right rear. It comes with all your USB, your cigarette lighter charger, some nuts, some extra washers for if you got to change the batteries. There's little washers inside these little modules. You unscrew them with the provided tool and there's a battery inside of here with the uh, uh, O-ring that keeps it waterproof. So here's the tool. You just break this tool apart. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Break the tool apart. It's two pieces. Then you can uh, take that cap, those caps off. And you get your dust shields. That's a little sticky mask you can stick on your dash. Um, so, now we're going to go to some footage of this being installed on the trailer. And then I'll give you guys my thoughts of it. Here we are at the trailer. There's only a few steps to put these on. First step, unscrew your valve cap. Take your corresponding cap that goes to the right tire. In this case, this is the right front. First, you're gonna want to take your dust cover, slide it over your valve stem, all the way down to the bottom and flip it inside out. Then you're gonna take your jam nut, spin this all the way down. It helps if you don't drop it. Spin it all the way down to the bottom of the valve stem. Okay. Then you're going to take your cap, your sensor, you screw it on until you get it tight. Yes, the air is going to come out because you are screwing it in so that it can monitor the air. Then once it's tight, take your provided wrench for your nut and the tool for your cap. Hold your cap while you take your jam nut and spin it all the way up and tighten it till it's tight. And the last step, take some leak detector. In this case, this is just for stuff from work. And you're going to want to check for air bubbles or leaks. Because you don't want this. Well, it's the one thing I worry about with this is because you are going onto a valve stem that. It could leak, but if you get them tight, you put dust covers on, you check them for leaks, you should be okay. And then, last step, you take your dust cover, pop your dust cover over, that way nothing gets in there, and boom, there you go. One sensor done. Now, three more to go.
all the sensors installed. Now we're in the truck. Turn it off so you guys can hear a little bit better. This is the little module. So what we're gonna do is uh, hit the power button, hold it until it comes on. So now we're in the settings, you power it up and then you hit the little wrench. Now you're in the settings, you can change from PSI to bar. So we're going to leave it on PSI. Then you can change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius. You can set your parameters for your front tires, your rear tires, your high lows. So I have it set at 70. Uh, my tires are 60 PSI. So I have them set at 70. My low is at 40. Rears, same thing. High at 70. 40s the low. Just that. 40s the low. And it also does a spare tire. I don't have one for my spare tire, so we're just going to leave those the way that they come. And then long hold on the wrench again. There you go, we took a little ride, and now we're getting all the temperatures and pressures of all four tires on the trailer. This, I think, is going to be a game changer. I've always been a little nervous, not knowing what's going on with tires, because like I said, if you do get a blowout on the trailer while you're driving, it could be pretty dangerous. Uh, it could blow, but not a lot, not just blow your tire out, but it could take the, the fender off if you have fenders. Uh, our trailer currently doesn't have any fenders. It has a little skirt by it, but if your ha trailer has the, the beauty fenders, it'll tear them right off. Um, it's nice to be able to know when you go on long hauls if your tires are getting too hot because that's indicative of the tire gonna blow if it gets getting too hot which is nice because they do have a high temp alarm which you can set to whatever temperature you want you have a low pressure which like i said i set mine at 50 for all four tires is the low the low tire warning and then my high tire temp or high tire pressure is set at 72 my tires call for 65 psi i may lower that down to 70 just to be a little safer um, it doesn't hurt at all to do it just chime inside that little module and it'll light up and let you know the big the best thing is if you run over something in the road while you're driving it has a quick loss alarm so if you run something over and you start losing air really fast it will alarm that way you can pull over get on the side of the road and and deal with what the problem is so my honest review uh haven't used it towing the trailer on a long trip yet uh, we just installed it but just driving around town with it i'm already impressed installation was quick 10 minutes um, just make sure the one concern i had just make sure that you leak check each valve because like i said you're screwing onto the valve stem you don't want to have a leak if you don't need to And there you go, that's the installation of the four sensors. Now, you could get a fifth one if you really wanted to and put it on your spare tire. I don't see that as a need for me at this current moment because spare tire is just on the back of the trailer. But it would be nice. That way you know if there's something going on with your spare tire before you get a flat, you would be able to fix your spare tire and not have to be sure on the side of the road with no spare tire. So. Leave your comment in the comments of uh, what you guys think. Thanks. Bye.